Hey hun, so we just got back home for a little stroll around for like Christmas decorations Even though we have gotten a few that have been really nice I'll probably show them to you later this evening because they look better at night But yeah, it's, it's looking very festive in the home. I just filmed a TikTok um, Video for this coat because literally I'm, I'm literally so upset. It was freezing today. Let me just show you whilst I'm here But it's so nice And I felt very very warm. I'll link the video to my TikTok where you can like buy it. Plus you get like free shipping and stuff. So I just feel like the color of it and like the way it's been made, like it looks very high end. Did a TikTok video on that. And yeah, today I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have lunch, a bit cleaning and then film. I've got a lot of filming to do. And then tomorrow I'll be going to my mom's. So yeah, it's a pretty chill weekend. So I don't know what I'm going to vlog, but let's see what I get up to. I need to figure out this mic because I've seen people put it under their clothes, but I don't know how to do it. I, need, I think I need to get like a magnet or something. I don't know. But I love this camera so much. I use the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. Best thing, best thing I've ever bought for social media because I get so shy vlogging outside and this is like very discreet. So I feel more confident and just like I'm able to be more myself on camera, even though a bunch of people are staring. So it's hard, it's not easy vlogging. Oh my god, we've been putting um, sugar-free vanilla syrup, um, I know it just says vanilla, but it's sugar-free in our tea and we've been so obsessed and honestly, some people don't like that sugar-free taste but I've, I've become accustomed to it and I don't mind it. And it's like sweet vanilla, it tastes like the Mauritian tea that you get, there's a vanilla one. Do I have it? I think my mum. My mum actually gave me one, it's this. Bois Chérie, Tea à la Vanille. You get these in Mauritius and they are really nice. But basically you can do it with normal tea but add sugar, vanilla syrup or sugar free which is I guess better. Because both me and hubby have been more on like our weight loss journey. To be honest our weight loss has been very slow and steady and I think for me personally that's just the better way than doing a quick fix because the faster it goes down I find it, it, everyone's weight loss journey is different but I think like when you do those extreme weight losses especially for someone like me I can I can easily put the weight back on as soon as I start eating normally and like the way you eat to lose so much weight in that short amount of time is not sustainable in the long term we've been eating things that we like you know chocolate desserts but all in moderation and because of that our weight loss has been you know more steady downwards right now i'm at a plateau which is so annoying because i i don't feel like i'm at the max and but also like i've been doing weight training and i think I'm, i've been building a bit of muscle which i kind of counteracts the weight loss so i'm doing more like a body recomposition rather than weight loss right now I do want a flat belly. I've never had a flat belly. So I feel like for South Asians, it's so common. Like it's just in our genes to divert, like deposit fat in our arms and in our belly. But even, do you know, like I've come to terms with like even the girls who look the most slimmest, they have a belly too. Everybody has a belly. Even when I was at my slimmest, I had a belly. So the belly, the belly will always be there. I also do try to like, you know, change my mindset and be like thankful of like the fact that my body functions and it allows me to do everything like, that I do every day and my health is good. So I've been focusing on that more rather than the physical appearance of Anyways, I'm gonna go read my book. I'm just gonna chill in bed for a bit. I was gonna film, but I'm gonna film later on. I just feel like I prefer filming in the evening. I, you would think I would wake up early and film and get all of it out of the way. No, I just, I, don't, I feel like I have a preference of filming in the evening. Although sometimes I do wake up early and film, especially if I'm going to work. I'm gonna read a bit of my book and then probably watch a bit of The Day of the Jackal. I just started that today and I, I was only like halfway into the first episode and then I had to step away from the TV but it was like, it was gripping so like I'm gonna start watching that series now. I'm also currently watching Arcane so we might watch that later. But the way they edit the animation to the music is spot on. I've been loving it. If you haven't watched, I know it's hard with animations, but Arcane is really good. So we've got three episodes of that to watch. And then we also watched a French series. It was like a, kind of like a Creed inspired show. The short series, I think there was only five episodes, but it was French. I do recommend watching it in French with English sub subtitles. Don't watch dub. So anyways, it's called The Cage. I even got my sister on it and she's really liking it so far. So yeah, that is another good series that we like. If you like Creed, I think you would like this. Especially if you're French and me and Hobby are French, so we really enjoyed it. And then, yeah, now I'm going to move on to, to The Day of the Jackal. I'm reading, guys, 
this book no joke has 800 pages and i'm on page 626 i'm almost to the end it was a chunky ass book but throughout the whole book it's called fairy dale it's about gothic fantasy romance and I, if you know me i love me a fantasy romance or a romanticy give me any of the two give me any of the two this one was getting a lot of hype on tiktok i went into it blind i didn't know what to expect Throughout this whole book, I kid you not, you're just like, what the hell is happening? Like, three quarters of the book, you're like, what is going on? What is going on? Who? What? Where? And I think that's what made me want to keep on going. Because I wanted to get to the bottom of this bloody story. And then when you're getting to the end, and all your questions are answered, you're just like, Whoa. And it's so good. I did have some points where I'm like, oh, is this dragging? Is this dragging? But not for too long. Like, I just kept going with it. So many characters, you're like, what? You're, you're also following three different timelines. I'm near to the end now. I'm like, I want to finish it because I need to know more. I need to get to the end of this. I would maybe argue that, okay, it's long. But then it wouldn't have that much of an impact at the end if it wasn't that long. To explain all the three timelines and get to this point, you know? I don't know if you would be able to achieve that if the book was shorter. So I don't know. But so far it's looking like a 4 star, 4.5 star. I'm still, I still need to get to the end. I really like the light writing. I love... I love the characters. If you put me, if you put a good romance in a book, I'm bound to love it. And the romance in here is like insane. Not throughout the whole book, but towards the end. Because you've been throughout the whole book, you're like, what? Anyways, if you have patience and you like fancy romance, I would recommend this book. I would. I really like the writing as well. So anyways, I'm going to read for a bit. I don't even read physical books anymore. I read on my Kindle all the time. I got this stand from Amazon. It's really handy. Yes, I am in my Lilo and Stitch PJ. You know when sometimes you just need one of those days where like you, you just stay in your PJs all day and just chill? That's me today. Okay. If you're wondering what this is by my head right here. <laughs> sometimes when I'm really like in a book, I would basically lay down. You put this on top and then you kind of just lay there and read. And it's very handy because you get a clicker and like you can turn the pages from the clicker so you don't have to keep reaching out. And yeah, you just lay and read a book. It's the best thing ever. Honestly, you might think I'm weird. The book top girlies will understand. And I can't be bothered to take it off. Let me show it to you. Okay. I need to don't look weird. <laughs> It's so good. It's so good. There's nothing better than, you know, being right, you know, going to the end of like such a good book. I love the two main characters. I don't know. Is this a five star? I have to get to the end before I give it a five star, obviously. But yeah. It's so good. This is what the decorations are looking like. We've got all this here. We got the brown father Christmas. You can't be seeing it. We ordered Indian takeout and I got lamb biryani and some yogurt here. I'm just going to have my food. Sky like every day. I used to spend time with her every day. So it's the present video of this guy who loves his dog as well, and he always filmed like when he come home and the dog was there. And oh. He filmed himself like when it was not there. Like, the, like one day he's in trouble when he's not there, and like when the dog was there, so he's like, oh, yeah, like when he walks through the door, but then when the dog wasn't there, he just walks in like so depressed because of the dog. That's depressing. Oh, I can't watch the whole thing because there was more of it because mm -hmm. it was like every situation on his day. I was like, oh. I watch the first video. I was like, oh, Videos like that make me cry. Yeah, I can't, I can't watch it. <laughs> Where is the biscuit? Where, Where is it? Oh, she goes to the biscuit Where cupboard. is the biscuit? My mum got me a present. Oh. Her little face. I'll put that on my screen. My mum got me this. 
How do you call this? What's this? An ornament. An ornament. Oh, it's a Christmas tree. Tree ornament. Oh, c'est mignon. Oh, my beau frère Edouard. Merci. C'est clair, hein? Déjà, je veux pas de dos. Pas tout. Euh... Mais on a plein, hein? Non, comme ça, là, non. Tu as par le dos, tu l'as assis, tu vois pas bien son visage. Merci. Tu as des photos avec. Euh... Where's Kai? Where's Kai? Ah, maintenant, quand elle vient chez. <laughs> oh, the camera's facing this way. Yeah. It's Antoine's birthday. Big man, big man 19, 19. Big man 19. 19, he might think he's 20. Antoine's not so little anymore. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday This is out of rhythm. It's out of rhythm. One, two, three. Sound again. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. It's brownie cake. That's nice. Is that what I said, Antoine? <laughs> really? What? Food tech. What, what, did you keep your food tech recipe? Yeah. Do you remember that? When I made those okay, brownies, and I was like, I'll tell him to no. make them again. <laughs> oh no, I'm going to bring them back to them. When he was at school, do you remember? 